you know, neurologist and pretty much, they pretty much told me I'm done. I don't have to go back anymore. Mm. So I'm cleared. And, um, you know, if I want to get back in the ring, which I plan on doing, excuse the keep taking off the glasses and putting them back on. Oh, you good. You good. I, I keep, uh, you know, wanting to talk about coming back. I know me and Bubba have talked about it. Um, you know, maybe impact. Um, I don't know about AEW with him, but maybe impact WWE. I don't think so. Uh, WWE, as far as I'm concerned, is not for Bubba and I. Oh, uh, so not even you, huh? Not even me. I okay. mean, I some of the things that have happened over the years that people have read about um, with Bubba and whatever, but. We, even with me, you know, the fact of the matter is, you know, we're both 50 years old and it's not a place for guys our age. You know, WWE is a youth. They got a youth thing going on. And my thing is. And I've always said this, if you can still go and still do it, why not? Why not go with them? Because, I mean, back in the 70s and 80s, you know, people in their 40s and 50s were on top making money and still going. So why stop that? Or put us in the ring with younger guys to help get them over. That was how the torch was passed back in the 80s and the 90s. Yeah. Where along the way, I felt that it got lost and there was no respect for guys like us anymore. You know, you go to Japan and you're in your 50s, even in your 60s, you're like a god. You know, they look upon you as, you know, you know, if, especially if you can still go. I mean, I remember watching Abdullah the Butcher on one of the Wrestle Kings. Uh, I happened to hurt me. And um, I remember looking through, and all Abby did was walk in, do this, ah, and drop the elbow. And the fucking place, excuse my friends, so crazy. You're good. You're good. They lost their mind. And I'm like, good God. I'm like, wow. Now, here it is. That taught me a valuable lesson. Because here it is, I'm thinking I still got to fly in the ring and do all this. Stuff. It's the nostalgia act. It's the thing that got you where, where you are is what they want to see. They don't care about nothing about the greatest hits. Bubba used to say this all the time. When Kiss took off the makeup, nobody cared. The minute they put the makeup back on, it regenerated their career. And they didn't care about the new songs that Kiss did. They wanted to hear Detroit Rock City, Beth. Rock and roll all night. The things that got kissed to the game. Yeah. And he told me that it kind of struck a chord. And from that moment on, even when we came back for our second run in WWE, that's what we did. You know, we we did the greatest hits. You know, the What's Up, Devon Get the Table, uh, my little war dance that I did, um, 3D. You know, we did all of that. You know, so again, I don't know if WWE would be the right place for us, you know, at 50 years old. Um, but you know, whether it be NWA impact, maybe, maybe AEW, I don't know, um, with him, I don't know, but I definitely am not taking out of the equation that him and I can get back together Yeah, and, you know, squashing all rumors that people thought that we were enemies and we hated each other. We don't hate each other. Listen, brothers disagree all the time. And just because we disagree don't mean we hate each other.